In this video, I have a sit down with Peter Reinhardt at Pizza Expo. Peter is an ultimate pizza maker, bread baker, and educator. We discuss a workshop he presented at Pizza Expo with John Arena. The subject was creating signature breads in your pizzeria. I'll feature that in an upcoming video. I also discuss with Peter the difference between good pizza and great pizza. At the end of the video, I'll give you some valuable resources, including how you can sign up for a free mini course taught by Peter. Here's Peter Reinhardt. Albert Grande here uh, with Peter Reinhardt, master bread baker, pizza lover, and good, around, good all around good guy. I'm here at Pizza Expo. How are you doing today, Peter? I'm doing great. I, I finally got some sleep last night. The jet lag, I think, is over. And I'm getting ready to do a uh, bread making demo. Something uh, that we thought would be useful to pizzeria operators is how to use the equipment they already have, the ingredients they already have, and make breads rather than pizzas instead of buying bread to put it on the menu. Things that they can just do in-house and it would add to their, you know, kind of an extension to their line of products. Okay. So would they have to make a different recipe or a different formulation? Well, we're, they could technically just use their pizza dough if they wanted to. We're going to provide them. I'm doing this with John Arena, who's the owner of Metro Pizza and also a regular contributor to Pizza Quest. Um, John and I are going to essentially make some dough. He's already made the bread. We're going to give him samples, and we're also going to give them the recipe. We came up, we kind of created uh, a, a unique recipe. It's, it's not anything unusual. It's flour, water, salt, yeast, a little oil, uh, and that's basically a lot of water. And, uh, and show them different ways of handling it, shaping it, and some tricks for how to like minimize the handling. They could mix the dough, they could um, shape it into the shapes right off the mixer, let it rise for a little bit, uh, chill it down in the refrigerator, um, maybe pull it out of the fridge when it gets cold and reshape it so that it's ready to go the next day. All they have to do is the next day is lift the little pieces of bread out of the boxes and put them on pans and start baking them. And so there's not all of the work that artisan bakeries go through, and yet you get the same results. You get these incredible, either whether it's a hoagie roll, a submarine roll, a focaccia, ciabatta, you name it, you can make any kind of bread from this dough. So, that, so we're going to give them some techniques and a, and a starter recipe, and after that they can just tweak it the way they see fit. I've always felt that, uh, or that the home pizza maker can be a home bread maker. I think there's a lot of uh, continuity that goes on there. If you make good bread, you can make good pizza. If you make good pizza, you can make good bread. I agree. It's like, really, what is pizza but just bread with something on it? Or in the case of a calzone, dough with something in it. Uh, I think of pizza as sort of the, a universal food under many different names. Even in Italy, what do they call it? Focaccia, schiacciata, sfingiuni, uh, you name it. You know, pizza rustica. There's so many names for pizza. But in the end, it's really about dough with something on it. And that's the universal formula for success is that combination. So a quesadilla is kind of like a Tex-Mex pizza and a grilled cheese sandwich is an American pizza. I mean, I think they're all just variations on a theme, but there's something about that combination that just works. So why not, if you know how to make good bread, because the key to a good pizza is having a good crust. And so if you know how to make a great dough, you can make a great pizza. Yeah, that's true. I really uh, like your definition of what is good pizza. Could you tell me, just repeat yeah. that for us? You know, I really struggled for a long time trying to find the right words and the way to define the difference between what I'll call good pizza, which is 99% of the pizza out there. There's really no bad pizza unless you burn it. That pizza is always good. And then there's this like 1% that breaks from the pack that I call great. So the, the, when I wrote American Pie years ago, my quest was to find out the difference between good and great. What do these few people working at the great level know that the other people don't? And it turns out it wasn't a lot of technique. It wasn't a lot of um, arcane knowledge. A lot of it had to do with practice. It had to do with mainly in the end caring more than anybody else cared about doing a great pizza and then applying excellent technique. And then there was a few tricks, tricks that make the difference. And we saw yesterday in, in the workshop we did on fermentation yesterday, we asked the 200 people in the room to raise their hands if they use the dough on the same day they make it. And a few hands went up. I said, how many use the dough at least 24 hours later? And about 80% of the hands went up. And then when we said, how about for two days or three days or four days, more, a few hands went up. So basically everybody now, almost everybody, is holding the dough at least for 24 hours. And that simple trick alone can make a huge difference. 
it sounds so simple because everyone's doing it now, but think back 20 years ago, very few pizzerias even understood that. Some of them did it out of convenience. They didn't know that it made a difference. So a lot of pizzerias were making their dough in the morning and using it by one o'clock in the afternoon, and they were never going to get a great pizza. So in the end, my definition, bottom line, definition of what makes a pizza great is, is it memorable? Does it sear itself into your brain, into your mind? Uh, can, can you, do you want to bring your friends there? Can, can you not wait to get back to that place again? Is it a benchmark wherever you go after that? Those are kind of the, the I would say, the characteristic of a great pizza is, is it memorable in a positive way? There could be memorable pizza that's bad. It could be memorable because that's where you, your girlfriend dumped you when you went you know, out for your last date. But I mean memorable because the pizza is great. So that's what we're doing. I think we're going to have to stop. They're getting ready to use our table here for a demo. Um, we're going to have... Uh, I apologize. We're that's doing right. a demo and we got to move the food over. Who, well, this is Tim. Tim, who's doing the demo? Uh, Leo Spazier. Okay, so Leo Spazier, uh, world champion pizza maker, is getting ready to do a pizza demo, so maybe we should watch him. All right. Okay, All right. thanks, we'll Peter. We'll, we'll continue this later. Later. You can follow all of Peter's pizza adventures in Pizza Quest. Peter has recipes, interviews, reviews, and all sorts of useful pizza information. Go to fornobravo.com slash pizza quest. And if you want to learn to make pizza, I recommend Peter's free mini course, Perfect Pizza at Home. The course is taught on the Craftsy platform, and it's totally free. You can learn more here. Go to pizzatherapy.com slash pizza class. This video class is like sitting in the front row of a course taught by Peter Reinhardt. Go to pizzatherapy.com slash pizza class or just click below. Pizza on Earth, goodwill to all.